Super Mutant Alien Assault is a really good game. I didn't know what to expect when I started playing it, and for the first 10 to 15 minutes I found it really difficult, and I wasn't making much progress. As I got to grips with the game and started unlocking new weapons, I grew more and more impressed with the depth of the game. The game has you play single screen levels as a droid that has to beat the alien attackers on the screen. You pick up random weapons from a weapon dispenser and random grenades from a grenade dispenser. You run out of ammo and grenades quite quickly, so you need to head back to the dispensers quite often to get new weapons. Enemies come at you pretty fast, and they evolve and become stronger the longer they are allowed to live, so you need to deal with them as quickly as possible while avoiding taking damage. It can be very challenging at times running out of ammo and having no clear path to get more, which can result in damage being taken. Fortunately, the more you play the game, the more extra abilities and weapons you unlock. Abilities like Double Jump and the Pulse that hurts and pushes back enemies near you are essential, especially for taking on the tough bosses. To make matters more complicated, you have different objectives for levels too, like carry a fuel container from one pod to another, or to stop reactors from exploding and hurting you. The game really keeps you on your toes, and you need to be constantly watching every area of the screen and react to what's happening. One thing to point out is that the Vita screen is pretty small, and so all the enemies are small too. There were a lot of times I missed projectiles that were coming at me, because there's just so much happening on the screen, and so much to pay attention to. I really enjoyed Super Mutant Alien Assault. It's addictive and challenging. Every time I died, and I did die a lot, I wanted to jump straight back into the game. The only downside is the length of the game. There are only 12 levels in the main game, and while each playthrough is different because the levels all change, it's still not a long game. Unlocking all the abilities and getting good enough to finish the game took me around 1.5 to 2 hours on normal difficulty. There's also an endless mode to play, which was a lot of fun and more challenging because you start the game with only 2 hearts, as opposed to 5 in the normal game. Endless mode added a lot of longevity to the game, as did the different difficulty levels for the main 12 levels. There were leaderboards too which gives incentives to replay endless mode for longer. So overall, I thought Super Mutant Alien Assault was great. It's challenging, fun and addictive, which is perfect for a handheld game. It's a bit short if you just play the main 12 levels on normal, but there is enough content to have you play longer if that's what you want. So guys, are you picking up Super Mutant Alien Assault? And if you played it already, what did you think of it? Leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching. I've got a website now guys. So if you're interested in buying my book, The PlayStation Vita Year One, head to the website with the link in the description. The book covers the launch and first year of the Vita on the market, as well as interviews with developers, and a look back at some of the big games that launched in 2012. Thanks for checking it out!